So, di ba, nag-tourist ka dito, galing kang from tourist na na-employ ka. So, ano yung naging experience mo sa immigration na we all know na ang immigration napaka-hipet? I mean, ang, ano ang immigration sa Pilipinas super-hipet? So, ano yung naging experience mo doon? Can you share naman? Uh, actually, um, based on my experience, yung experience ko na dito, uh, pero yung personal experience ko from immigration sa, sa, sa Philippines, hindi kami nahirapan. Basically, hindi kami nahirapan kasi uh, ma- ma- yung ano namin, documents namin is just a tourist. Tourist from Philippines. From Philippines to Malaysia lang talaga. In Malaysia to Philippines. Ganun lang. Ganun lang yung ano namin, yung, yung destination namin, yung road ng ano namin, ng biyahe namin. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> wala talaga kami, kaming plan mag-work abroad. Mm-hmm. Nag-abroad kami para mag-tour lang. So unexpectedly nung nasa Malaysia, yun ang nangyari. Pero my experience in immigra- Philippine immigration, actually matanong sila. Yes, matanong sila. Pero <clears throat> nung time sa akin kasi mga kasama ko, nagtatut nagtanungan din kami eh. Kasi apat kami. Pero nung nung ako tinanong, parang simple lang na istam na kagad yung yung visa ko. So okay na, ganun. Kasi may documents kami nakabook kami uh, ang kailangan kasi dapat uh, provided na yung supporting documents like dapat meron ka ng book nakabook na hotel kung ilang araw kayo doon tsaka nakabook na ticket pabalik din which is meron kami and all, all documents we have actually is legit so walang fake doon oh. yun nga pero nasayang lang yung pabalik namin from Malaysia to Philippines kasi hindi na namin, namin nagamit yon kasi uh, from Malaysia nagpa-Dubai na kami ano yung unang trabaho mo? Ah, uh, yun nga. Um, nag-work ako as... Ayun nga, luckily, fortunately, dapat um, sales, sales stuff ang in-applyan ko actually. Pero, yun nga, since yung VP ng company kung saan ako nag-apply, which is kilala ako kasi naging staff ko before yun sa Philippines. Uh-oh. When I work as a sales manager, in niya ako as, as executive sales trainer. Mm-hmm. Yun. That's the good thing. Actually, I was very lucky that time. And of course, pero the different is I try actually I can see that I improve a lot kasi when I, when I was in the Philippines, hindi naman ako talaga uh, used to talk in front of crowds, yung as in maraming tao. Kasi ako parang mahihiyain. Parang uh, I can I can transact, I can I can communicate with different kinds of people pero one on one because I used to do that. I work as a sales. So yun kasi ginagawa namin. Uh, pag nagbebenta kami ng product namin na ng product uh, na kinikiter ng company actually ang communication is one person to one on one lang. Ganon. Kaya I can say na nag-improve ako when I when I came here. Sobra akong nahasa kasi dito sa UAE, of course, especially in Dubai, um, kailangan mo talagang mag-English kasi hindi lang naman lahat ng empleyado namin is kabayan. Hindi lahat Filipinos. We have um, Pakistan employees, we have Indians, we have Nepalese. Actually, maraming different kind of nationalities. Marami, marami kami. Kaya kailangan mo talagang mag-full English whenever you, you do training. So, paano yung naging experience mo? Kasi nag-work up before sa Pilipinas. So, knowing na yung mga kasama mo doon is kabayan or same nationality. So, ngayon dito ka na sa abroad. Ano yung parang adjustment mo regarding sa workplace mo, sa kasi environment mo? Paano ka nag-adjust? Uh, you mean yung mga katrabaho ko? Trabaho mo, naman. yung experience mo abroad. Parang naman. Mm-hmm. Actually, okay naman. Actually, uh, mas may enhance yung yung ability mo to work with different kind of people. Kasi dito, um, talagang pipilitin mo yung sarili mo mag-adjust. Nasa level na mas mag-improve ka. To the highest level. Parang ganun. Um, <clears throat> ayun, tsaka mas magiging competitive ka if you will work abroad. Especially if you will be working in the office, in the sales. Kasi kailangan mong... Hindi, hindi, Siyempre tayong kabayan, we are actually known na Uh, very competitive, tsaka hindi tayo nagpapahuli. So, ako talaga, I can say na nag-improve talaga ako. I learned a lot of things. 
of course um, normal natural lang yung magfail tayo kasi it's part of it's part of success wala naman naging successor na hindi nagfail eh, nagdaan sa failure so lahat ng naging successful na tao dumaan niya sa failure pero the thing is uh, ang tanong dun is uh, kaya mo bang tanggapin yung failure because if you cannot accept the failure definitely you will not reach success hindi ka magiging successful so kailangan kaya mong tanggapin tanggapin yung mali mo for you to be able to uh, to go higher actually masaya din masaya actually mag, um, uh, makatrabaho yung mga ibang lahi kasi you know alam mo tayong mga Filipinos especially if we are actually may may ugali tayong perfectionist eh yung mga Filipinos so very very particular tayo sa mga grammar natin whenever we talk uh, sa English pag nag English tayo and minsan natatawa na ako kasi may mga katrabaho ko na uh, minsan naririnig ko na lang to um, sabi ng ibang lahi sa mga kabayan sabi niya I told you you didn't listen to my tone so natatawa na lang kami kasi it's very funny di ba they don't know how to use past tense present tense ganon singular plural tsaka sometimes they mar- maririnig mo sa kanila uh, they should be asking you um, uh, how old are you It should be like that. But because tatanungin nila kung ilan na yung edad mo, pero they'll be asking you how much your age. <laughs> It's like they're buying your age, di ba? So, minsan, piloso po din ako. Sinasagot ka rin sila. Tender hums, my friend. <laughs> di ba? Ganun, nakakatuwa. Actually, sa UAE, nakakatuwa. Kasi, hindi mo kailangan maging fluent mag-English. Kasi the more na fluent ka, especially if you're talking to locals, local ibig sabihin Emirati, uh, much more na hindi kanila maintindihan. So, you have to practice also na <clears throat> na magsalita in English na parang yung Karabaw English. Karabaw. Have you experienced like discrimination from other nationalities when you were start, yung mga bago, parang part nung, uh, nung bago ka pa lang na nag-work dito sa abroad? Uh, in my previous company, <clears throat> not much. Not much. When it comes to nationalities, 95% ang nag-work sa amin is Filipinos. And <clears throat> actually, ako yung pinaka-first na naging sales executive, executive trainer ng company. So, uh, mabilis lang ako naka-recover sa adjustment. Naka, mabilis lang ako nakapag-adjust sa company. Pero, uh, I've been working with the company for almost a month. Pero, nakikita ko yung nationalities to other nationalities like Filipinos or uh, English speakers compared to Arabic. Mas ma- mas mataas yung or mas kinoconsider nila yung Arabic, yung mga local, si mga hindi lang local, si mga lahat magsasalita ng Arabic. From your personal experience, saan ka mas nahirapan makisama sa ibang nationality or sa Christmas? Masarap uh, makisama sa mga ibang lahi. Hindi lahat. Actually, parang lahat naman ng nationalities, parang kamay, parang dalire, parang ganito, parang kamay. Kung makikita natin, hindi sila magkakapareho. Ganun din yon Lahat ng Filipinos, hindi magkakapareho. May bababait, may hindi mababait, ganun. May mga gago, ganun, may mga nagdi-disadvantages, may mga talagang tumutulong sa'yo. Parang ganun din sa ibang lahi. Pero, <clears throat> tayo kasi mga kabayan, We are actually known as a friendly people. Parang tayo kasi matanong lang tayo, sasagutin na natin. Minsan, sasamahan pa natin. Ganon. Pero dito kasi sa UAE, um, hindi ko din discriminate. Pero pag um, especially yung ibang country. May ibang country kasi na, na alam mo yon parang <clears throat> um, makikipag-friend sila sa iyo, sa iyo, kakausapin ka nila. Pero behind your back, parang in-stab ka nila parang hindi sila totoo yon and minsan there actually hindi minsan eh most of the issues actually dito mga kabayan mo din nagpapahamak sa iyo yon parang which is nakakalungkot although ako ha personal experience marami akong kabayan na naging kaibigan marami akong na experience or naging friends na kabayan na natulungan ako ganun parang uh, kung pakikinggan ko or, or kung i-rate i- i- ko yung mga hearsay, 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 parang hindi ako naka-experience ng ganon 
ay ng ganung kataas na percentage. It's like nasa 30% lang, ganun. Yung mga experience ko na <clears throat> ang magpapahamak pa sa'yo is mismong kabayan mo, ganun. So far, hindi, hindi naman. So, I can say na lahat ng tao, lahat ng nationalities, lahat ng countries, parang daliri lang din. So, hindi pare-pare. Sa ilang taon na nag-stay ka dito sa abroad, ano yung mga masasabi mo mga... Meron, meron naman ako na pundar, pero alam mo yun, hindi pa rin enough. You really, is, you really have to still work harder. Kasi yung pag-abroad, hindi katulad ng ibang nasa Pinas na kamag-anak namin, especially kaming mga uh, OFW, uh, iniisip kasi ng mga kamag-anak namin na when we go abroad, mabilis lang yung pera dito. No, it's it's not that easy how to earn money. Especially your... your um, communicating or nakikisama ka sa mga iba't ibang lahi. So, hindi madali yung buhay dito. Kung tatanungin mo sa akin yung napundar ko, oh, I have, I have. I can I can live my life on my own. Actually, that's what I did since then. Nung 18 pa lang ako. Kasi honestly, I didn't finish my my studies. Hindi naman ako nag-college, high school grad ako. Pero, <clears throat> maganda yung mga naging trabaho ko at marap, may mga naipundar ako. And what I learned here is, mas maganda yung nag-invest ka ng ng gold, yun, yung mga alahas, yun kasi maganda. Kasi parang yung magkano bili mo dito pag kahit sinala mo sa Pinas, yun din yung value. So, yun yung maganda. At tsaka pag gold kasi, tumatas yung, yung value. Yung question, parang sa mga, di ba sabi nila, sa Pilipinas is meron tayo parang discrimination pag hindi ka nakapagtapos, hindi ka well-educated. From your personal experience, kasi sa Pilipinas, pag hindi ka graduated, Alam naman natin na parang may discrimination, nahihirapan tayo magtrabaho doon or makahanap ng trabaho. So dito sa abroad, from your experience, kailangan ba talaga na educated ka or degree na tapos mo para makahanap ka ng magandang trabaho? Actually, no. The good thing is, uh, dito kasi, mahirap mag-falsificate ng documents. And hindi naman nila i-discriminate ano natapos mo or whatsoever. The good thing here is, kung ano naging experience mo, so doon nila pagpagbabasihan. Tsaka, ang maganda rin dito is, itatry ka nila. If you are capable to do the job, then, well, you can continue working with them. That's the good thing here. Unlike sa Philippines, <clears throat> sa Philippines kasi, you can fake all your documents. Honestly, I didn't finish my college, high school grad lang ako, but I work as a sales manager in the Philippines. Pero nung time na nag-work ako doon, nag-apply ako doon, I fake my documents nilagay ko doon na second year din tapos ko undergrad ako but honestly high school grad lang ako so I just revealed something which is fact na hindi talaga ako nag college so high school grad lang ako and when I came here uh, I worked like as a teacher kasi I used to teach people different kinds of nationalities and I improved a lot especially on how to speak in English kasi hindi naman talaga ako ganito sa Philippines dati Siyempre, kabayan natin, Tagalog din, hindi naman tayo. Pero nung nagpunta ako dito, I have to study. I have to do, uh, you know, um, self-study. You have to do self-study para mag-improve ka, para hindi ka mapag-iwanan, at saka para makapag-perform ka kung ano yung trabaho. So, nandito tayo sa parang conclusion natin. Ano na yung parang masyashare mo sa mga kabayan natin sa Pilipinas na nangangarap mag-abroad? Ganun na ano yung dapat nilang gawin at hindi, na, hindi dapat nilang gawin pag nasa abroad na sila. Okay, uh, what I can advise to those uh, kabayan, may kabayan na gusto mag-abroad, of course, alam mo, um, kung may plan ka mag-abroad, of course, you have to make sure that you are ready, you, have, you are ready to work abroad kasi hindi basta-basta yung paggagastos, especially, di ba, when we say money nowadays is very important, <clears throat> Parang hindi tayo mabuhay kasi nang wala ng pera. So, kailangan pag-isipan natin na mabuti kasi <clears throat> normal lang yung uh, mahomesick tayo. Kasi may mga nag-abroad din na pag nandito na sila, umuwi din sila kasi nahomesick sila. So, you have to make sure that you are ready. And then, um, second, kailangan alamin mo yung kultura ng bansang pupuntahan mo. So, actually, para sa ganon, alam mo kung paano pakitunguhan ng mga tao na nandoon. And, Last, of course, dapat yung pinaka-main reason mo or main purpose mo why you went abroad is to earn money. It's all about money. 
So, kailangan you have to make sure that you will earn. Hindi ka nag para gumastos ng kung ano-ano, bumili ng kung ano-ano, para lustayin yung pera mo. So, you have to make sure na you have projects, may pupuntahan yung, may have projects na kailangan mong, kailangan mong matupad in uh, exact period of time, tsaka kailangan magkaroon, maging stable yung financial mo, yun lang. Dapat maging stable yung financial. So, guys, andito tayo ngayon para pasalamatan si Albert. Uh, Pinaunlakan ako. So, thank you, thank you so much sa'yo. Well, no, actually, I have to thank you also kasi invite mo ako para sa, sa ganitong panayam sa channel mo. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe sa channel ni Robert Navarro and click the button para, tama ba? Click the bell button na, down below para ma-notify kayo kung anong mga update na vlog ni Brother Robert. Yay!